Okay, I wanted to show you guys some updates to my drive system. So I've taken it out of the polycarbonate sphere and I've reassembled it outside here so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, before, my BB-8 head only could turn left and right, uh, but it was held on the center mass by a, a direct channel, so he couldn't lean forward or back or anything like that. So I wanted to give him the ability to kind of look up at people and put his head down while he's driving forward, things like that. So I decided to go with a tilt system and you can see now I've added a elbow joint pretty much. Um, and that basically goes up and I have this rod that comes down to a high torque servo. Now right now I only have a inch and a half a uh, servo horn on here. I am probably going to order a a two inch long one to give myself a little more uh, movement um, but for now I'll show you the test as it is. So this is a high, tur a high torque servo um, but by placing the servo off the center you don't need as much torque as if you were to place one here because then it would take all the weight from the head and everything and all the torque would be on it. This takes a lot of that off. So uh, basically when the servo moves left or right it will pull the rod and cause everything to turn. So I'll show you kind of a test. Um, I need to put some cross bracing in so for now I'm just going to hold it with my hand. But let me move the camera back and I'll show you how it works okay so if you give me a second I'm going to place his head on and I'm going to place some foam pads over the magnets so that they don't crash so okay so there's my dome ring and this goes here and then my head, again, I'm not putting this on correctly, I'm just putting it on to show that it can hold the weight. Uh, let me actually move it back a little bit further. Okay. So, if I turn this on, and I'm going to just, like I said, I need to hold it to balance, but if I move this left and right, You can see it more than easily moves the head. So when I'm driving forward, I can have his head lean forward. If I stop at somebody, I can have him look up. Um, but that gives me forward and tilt. And because I have a hamster drive, even though he can only move forward and back, if I move him forward and turn the head, I can I have the ability to rotate the whole body within the sphere so I actually get 360 degrees of movement even though I only have forward and back so it's kind of like a cheat I could you know do a differential you know uh, axle here and have it pull left and right and front and back but I wanted to keep things simple first and just move forward and back because like I said I can fake moving left and right by turning his head or turning the whole body within the sphere. But um, anyway, that's the work in progress. So it has enough torque. Again, I might go with a bigger sh uh, servo horn so that I can get an even further range of motion, but I don't need much. I just want him to be able to look up a little bit um, and kind of look down when he's driving forward. So I'm pretty happy with my first initial test. Um, I'll do another video once everything's back inside the ball. But I just wanted to show you guys what I had so far. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to let me know and I'll, I'll answer as best as I can.